Right, so welcome back once again to Kerbal Space Program 2 and today, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we are making a moon base. Yes, this was my most popular video on Kerbal Space Program still to date on the channel, so I thought it would be a good idea to revisit it in the new game and try and build a new base. Now, I did have a few problems with this and it has broken my save file, so yeah. There is that, but hopefully we can get more added to this once there's some updates and stuff. So this is recorded before my latest videos where I actually turned down the music vo volume. So apologies if the music sounds really weird sped up because this is like eight times speed. But as you can see there, our first attempt failed. I just did not have enough control of the rocket. So I had to add some SES. So I added some color to the, the base itself up at the top, which... Um, now as an SES module, so we can have a little bit of red in the orangey base design that we're going for. I've sort of coloured everything orange on the channel and didn't realise it was a recurring theme. Maybe maybe orange is my favourite colour without realising. But anyway, oh, we are going into space now. This is just a simple two-stage rocket. I feel like everything in Kerbal Space Program 2 is a lot easier to launch. You don't really need much. But there we go. There's our first look at the base. It has four sides. With Each has a dock and port. So we can add extra modules to it. Which we do in this. And you will see that. So we're just getting a bit circular here. I realised we're actually fallen. So we needed to go a little bit radial out. And apologies for the inclination. That is really bad. <laughs> We did a terrible launch. Yeah. So I'm just bringing the. I'm trying. To, I was trying to get a straight encounter, and then I realised no, I'm going to have to change the inclination because it is just too too much. So yes, here we go, burning to get a little bit more of a even inclination. So let us know if you think this speed is a bit too much. I don't know if this speed's too fast to keep up with, or whether this is a good pace. But yeah, I, uh, 8 times speed this video is. There's a lot to get through, so I thought, yeah, 8 times seems like a good number and it's a short video. It makes, I don't know whether short is good, bad, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below whether you like short or long videos. Right, so skipping ahead to the moon there, we are trying to get into a nice orbit because I wanted where we landed the rover by the moon arch. The Monarch, I wanted to also set up the base there because I thought it'd be a pretty scenic place. You can hear all the really fast drum beats here. So, yeah, we're just setting up an orbit so we can find and target the rover properly. But then I found a problem a bug with Kerbal Space Program 2. Would you believe it? My rover just started falling under the ground. As much as I try to revert saves. It did not work, but with a little bit of save file editing, I managed to rescue the rover and bring it above ground. This is why I really need to install the lazy orbit mod, because it lets you do simple things like that, move things around and stuff. Just, I'd need that mod just for the sake of videos and saving uh, vessels from the Kraken, so... Yeah, we managed to rescue the rover, and here we are just bringing the base down. Moving the camera around a lot, just trying to get a feel of where we are, and if we are going to be close or not. So, just completely eyeballing it now, and it actually goes really well. We've got plenty of fuel, as you can see, we've got 3000 Delta V left still. I'm just trying to get a good positioning for the base, thinking about where I can go. And I thought, right, I want to be a little bit in front of it. And there we go. Spin it around so the cockpit can actually see outside at the Monarch. So, yeah, I thought that was a great position. I've just turned off all the engines there. Make sure they're all off just in case we accidentally lift up by accident. So, returning back to the vehicle assembly building. And now we are going to launch this part now this part is like the main power source for the station 
but obviously we need a way of controlling it so I'm just adding a little bit of a, a probe core there so we can land this thing um, was it vertically horizontal would it be horizontal or vertical it's hard we want to land it on the wheels anyway so yeah we've got engines on the side which are slightly underestimated how easy it would be to control because you know I've done them before on the rover and I thought oh yeah that's easy just whack them on the side and put a probe core on the top and it's fine so now I was just checking the orientation of the probe core was correct and it was fine so yeah we are heading off to the moon look at that and I was thinking should we just bird straight up towards moon I think I do actually I can't I recorded this one that long ago now, I can't even remember. And there we go, the Kraken attacked once again. Deciding to just flip out our craft for no apparent reason. So, relaunched and this time just decided to stay going straight up and see what happened. Yeah, it was actually at this point I realised, I thought you know what, let's just point at the moon and shoot straight forward because we've got a lot of fuel. We've got plenty of fuel in this launch craft, so we may as well use it all. So there we go, we're just launching straight towards moon. It's not the most efficient way of getting there, but it does work. It just uses a lot of fuel and we've got plenty of it, so I wasn't really that bothered. Here we are, I'm just trying to set up a maneuver node just seeing whether it would actually get us there just doing it this way and it seems like it will so <coughs> oh apologies for that yeah me just being an absolute idiot here messing about with uh, maneuver nodes because I couldn't figure out whether we we're actually going to hit it or not so I just kept trying <laughs> So yeah, if you're enjoying Kerbal Space Program 2 with all the bugs and everything, let us know in the comments if, you, uh, if you're if you still playing it or if you've give up on it, lost all hope or just waiting for future updates. Um, I know I'm excited to get a patch to fix some of the bugs. Performance is okay now. I'm, now I've upgraded me potato. Uh, performance is okay. So. Right, so here we are for the big challenge that is controlling this thing. I realised how off balance it was, so I was trying to, I was trying to change the thrust of one side of the thrusters, and it was not working. It just could not get out of the spin. I don't know what was going on. I think it was another bug. So there you go. See, I'm, I'm sort of getting it balanced now. I was like, right, okay, we've got this balanced. Let's get a maneuver node. And, yep, it has gone into a spin again. But it's it's working. So there we go. We finally got it balanced with the thrust limiter. And I was like, all right, okay, I overthrusted a little bit. Let's go back. And everything seemed to be working out all right. I was like, all right, okay, it's working now. It's balanced. Everything's good. Everything's cushy. I started time warping. And yeah, as soon as I come out with time warp, it would just flip out and then wouldn't be very controllable again. Just like that, the probe core would just lose orientation of where it was actually going. So yeah, I don't know what was going on with it. It was a bit annoying. Yeah, and again, I tried reverting the save. It just as soon as soon as you drop the landing gear, it would affect the craft, and then as soon as you time warped, it would affect the craft. I don't know what was going on. It was just a weird bug. It just decided to spin. I tried cancelling out the trim. It wasn't the trim. It was just I don't know. It just would not be very controllable and. This went on for a long time. This this honestly must have took us so many hours 
to film. Because you've only seen a few attempts here. I'm not showing all the attempts because there is that many. It was just ridiculous. You would get bored of it. But I think this is the one that actually worked. I tried to balance out the fuel here. I thought, right, that's going to help. And I thought, right, we're not very close, but we're close enough where we can just drive over and this not be an issue anymore. So I just pointed up and tried my best to have a smooth landing where we wouldn't lose the 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 wheels and there we go we actually got it down so now our mission was to get over to the base 5.2 meters uh, is that meters 5.2 meters that's not right 5.2 kilometers i think <laughs> it's hard to see from this little screen where i'm doing post commentary so we're just toddling over at 15 meters per second i thought oh, that that's fast enough where we're not going to crash and fast enough where we'll get over there at a reasonable time. So here we are going over, not a care in the world, thinking, ah, this is all fine, I could probably just go and make a cup of tea. And, yep. Yeah. We lost a couple of solar panels, and we also needed to get a charge, so I put this panel out for a little bit to get some charge. And I thought, you know what, we can't try and fly this again. In case we can't get the thing down so we're just going to stick with three solar panels it should be enough to fuel it for now and we actually make it but the brakes are not very good so yeah i was just trying the lander gear there to see if it would flip out when i put them down or not and it seemed okay so we're just heading over to the side where we can connect this so we've got two sides where it's a smaller um to couple it where what dock and port sorry and we've got two sides where it's the larger one for this type of array and i'm just turning the steering the automatic steering cancels out the angle for some reason it makes the angle really shallow so i was just um getting this lined up and there we go and i've reduced it down to 100 percent speed so i mean it's real time speed now and you can see how slow I was going just to make sure we can line up and hoping for the best that deploying the landing legs it will connect to the dot and port here. So also I've I've almost forgot the ran the part of the video where we do the random word generator and you have to comment it in the comments if you made it this far. So if you are watching currently oh there we go, actually we are docked. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so the word random word for this video is sketch so if you made it this far put that in your comment when you comment down below and i will know if you are a true fan or not i really will this time because 13 minutes into this 16 minute video um yeah you've made it pretty far so there we go solar panels are out i decided to get the kerbal out for an ev i can't remember which kerbal it is i think it's jeb i think i've got jeb in this one so yeah, and I realised at this point, uh, did I forget a ladder? Yep, I forgot to put a ladder on, but it's too late to go back now, we've got the thing down. It is looking pretty cool, I have to say, I did a pretty good design. And I love these new landing legs, they are a bit chunky, but they are cool as well. And I think we need a flag to mark this as our moon base. So there we go, get that flag down Jeb. I wish the flag was actually representative of the one you choose when you make the company. I don't know why it's not. It's a little bit weird. Probably it's just another bug of all the bugs. So I've also got lights on it as you can see. I haven't got them on at the minute. I think I do turn them on, but I, you can't really see the lights very well in this game compared to the first one. There we go, lights are on. So yeah, and the rover, when I rescued the rover with the save file editing, I did lose a wheel and some extra parts, but uh, yeah, it still works, so that is fine, that's all we need. So I'm just bringing this over to uh, sit with the moon base so I can get a cool screenshot. Because you've always got to get a cool screenshot when you're, when you're making a moon base. And the rover is part of that base now. So I can't remember what is who is on the rover. Is that Bill or Bob? 
bit like Bob Curran is in the Rover. So yeah, we're getting the original OG crew up here in, on the base at the minute. I should have really put more Kerbals in the base when I launched it, but I didn't think because normally they just norm it automatically fills in Kerbal Space Program two uh, one, but in two it doesn't. It just puts one Kerbal in for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Maybe I need to hire some. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this game works. But there we go. At least they've got something to look at. Then look at the star system on the moon arch. Just doing a drift in there. Yeah, this this rover is not the fastest thing. I like to leave the FPS on the screen so everyone knows what FPS I'm getting when I'm doing stuff in these videos. So that is just FYI why it's always on screen. If it gets annoying, just let me know and I'll uh, I'll remove it. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us in this video. And uh, if you did like it, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more Kerbal Space Program 2. And if you want to see other stuff, let us know. I do like to read the comments, so get commenting. Anyway, there we go. There is our thumbnail opportunity once we come to a stop. The brakes on these br uh, wheels are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, and there we go. Thumbnail shot. That's how you get thumbnail shot. Look at that. Right, and I'll see you guys in the next one.